Hello, what is up boys and girls? My name is the Great Potus here, back with some more Halo 5. In this video, we're going to be covering the intels for the first mission of the campaign. This is for everybody that wants to find all of the intels, that wants to find all of the skulls in every single mission. Uh, the first mission is actually not that hard to find all of the intels or even the skull. Um, reason being is because the map is so small, so everything is pretty packed quite together. Um, doesn't really take that long. It takes about 10 minutes to find all of the intels and all of the skulls and even run through it. The hardest part is just killing the enemies. But the first piece of intel is actually going to be right after you land, right after the cinematics. You kind of have to roll down and then you got to wait for the cinematics to end where you knife the aliens in the throw. And then you got to wait for them to say watch out and then the ship actually falls from the sky. But once all that passes, all you really have to do is kill that one zombie that's there. Keep going forward and then just right there on the right hand side is going to be the first intel. Now it's that purple disc looking thing that look, kind of looks like it's spinning like a blade um there's going to be different forms of intel throughout the game might be relics might be those purple uh disc later on in this video we'll see some some human data files that also count as the intel and we'll cover that on later the second one not much further after the first one you kind of just have to wait until you bash through that ice wall and you just stick to your left hand side and go straight there's going to be a little ledge little cliffhanger right there jump down and there's your second one again it's a purple disc um you really can't see it if you're on the right hand side but just stick to the left hand side and you'll see that little ledge just really just poking out right there and it's right there it's not really hidden this one's not hidden um a couple of the other ones are kind of hidden but this one's really blatant right there i'm gonna fast forward a little bit here just so that you guys kind of know where i'm going because this one's a little bit trickier you're going to see these stations on the left hand side with those metal statues just run right there in the middle and then you're gonna jump up on that level up there like I said the hardest part is just killing all of the enemies there's gonna be another one of those like metal statue looking things go up one more ledge and it's right there behind the head this one's a little bit easier to miss because it kind of blends in with the snow and the body also kind of hides it if you're running towards that way along with all the other crazy stuff going on once you get into the door after you kill all of the enemies you're actually going to wait to see that Kraken arm Go to the left, jump down, and it'll be right there on the ledge. They're actually shooting at it because I missed it by accident, but it's right there. It's another Covenant one, so that's the purple one with the disc. And this is already, like, the fourth one that we found in the map. Um, the first mission is really short. The map is small. The next one, you actually have to continue to go until you get into the battle uh, field with the Kraken and all the enemies and the Covenant and the Forerunners and all that stuff. And if you just go towards the right hand side of that door and just keep going forward, you're going to find a human data file right there, which you're going to pick up. And that, of course, will also count as intel. Chuck Nice there, right, falling right off the edge. Nice job, Chuck Nice. The next one is actually going to be through those doors. You're going to go into the sort of scenic view. And right there on the floor, you're going to find the sixth data file. This one is a human data file as well. And then the last one is very, very easy to miss. And the reason why is because it's the final room where you're battling. And once you enter the doors after that, the mission ends. So don't go through the doors. Instead, go into the far right-hand side corner all the way into the back. And you'll kind of see it just laying down right next to that dead guy. Um, they don't really expect anybody to go into this corner because it's really some random corner. But there's a seventh piece, guys. The seventh piece of intel. Uh, like I said, guys, I will be making another video to cover the skulls. If you guys want to check out the campaign of Halo 5 that we're also doing a playthrough on, um, every single day I'll be uploading one episode of the campaign, which will be a mission, and then also the intels that go alongside with that mission. And then later on, I'll be making a video with all of the skulls. Until the next time, guys, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. If you guys have not yet, please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.